Ludendorff in Tyrol in the Kitzbühler Alps. In summer, a hiking paradise for those seeking rest and relaxation. But August is hardly over when thousands of Spartans from over 40 nations take over the area between St. Johann and Kitzbühel. There are already three races in Austria, worldwide more than 170 of this series with regional rankings but also world championships. A world champion is already a regular guest in Oberndorf. Uh, to be honest, I come to Spartan Oberndorf because it's my favorite venue. I came here in uh, 2016 for the first time. I love the mountains, I love the terrain. And you guys really rolled the red carpet out for me the year that I came. I mean, you made me feel like I was right at home and it was just uh, something that I'll never forget and that's what keeps me coming back, I think. Yeah, Spartan racing and obstacle course racing in general, I think, is growing. One sport that really balances everything. You have to have speed, you have to have strength, you have to have endurance, but you got to be able to, in my opinion, face the biggest obstacle, which is the terrain, the mountains, the elements. In the regional Dach series, i.e. those of the German-speaking countries, the Tyrolean Petra Gruber has the chance to take first place. Winner in Munich, fourth place in St. Burton. Die Chancen stehen gut. Im, um, Im Spartan ist es so, you'll know at the finish line. Das Rennen ist erst aus, wenn es aus ist. Und ja, ich habe gut trainiert, ich bin fit. I trained well, but it's raining. The obstacles are wet. I like running and training in the rain. It will be slippery. Off the finish, I would like to say, I gave my best and I had some great fun. Im Regen, natürlich, die Hangelhindernisse werden rutschig. Ich wünsche mir, wie, wie jedes Mal wieder nach dem Rennen, dass ich zumindest für mich selber sagen kann, ich habe mein Bestes gegeben und ich habe Spaß dabei gehabt. Race start for the men, 8 a.m. Here are last year's winners warming up. I haven't participated in a competition for some time, especially not in a Spartan race. In the beginning I had doubts, but I won last year, and technically I like the track. Yeah, when you, when you get to the start line and you see, you know, rain, cold, um, you know, it's a big thing about the gear that you have. So, you know, I brought my craft jacket, lightweight windbreaker, um, a lot of the guys were wearing long sleeves, so I think it's just a matter of there's no bad weather, there's just bad gear. So as long as you have the right gear for the situation. For topless, it is definitely too cold, especially because the track leads to 2,000 meters at the highest point. And off we go. At least 21 kilometers and at least 30 obstacles are prescribed by the beast distance. In Orbendorf, it's usually more. At the top, Soli. On the right, Eugenio Bianchi. And behind him, Charles Fanska. The path leads up to the first section. The Hartsteinbach, Kutzbühel. The first obstacles, over, under, through. Mud pit, lake crossings, hurdles. Bucket Brigade, Atlas Carry, Hercules Hoist, Rope Climb, and Monkey Bars. This is the Bucket Brigade. Sand in the bucket and a carry around. For the first time, the athletes notice the difference to sunny weather. The sand is soaked, so much heavier. Franzka already settles down a bit and comes first to the rope climb. The ropes are wet. It takes time and strength. The men are in the Hartstein factory. The women are about to start. This is Ulrika Evanson. Second she was at the Spartan Super in St. Burton in May. I knew that my best odds for today because I'm better at the longer distance and I'm good in the mountains, even though I live in Denmark, which is completely flat, but for some reason I'm pretty good at running in mountains. Um, so, and also my running has improved uh, this year. So uh, yeah, it was just focused, uh, was ready for a muddy and cold race. Petra Gruber is ready. The Tyrolean has their own Spartan training park in her garden at home in the Zillertal. <laughs> Evanson, Gruber, and on the right, a Nico Cernak from Hungary. The bucket was kind of special because they had the new rule where you could put it on their shoulder. Um, but I kind of put it on my wrong shoulder, so it just got so awkward for me, so I actually ended up falling. 
I didn't spill anything, but it was just like I brought it up in front of me instead. Uh, so I got a little bit behind there, but then I got in on the running uh, afterwards. To the men who are already about two kilometers outside the quarry, Franska was briefly in front, but then Albert Soli shoots from behind in first place. Robert Killian, the world champion, is in fourth place. Well, the fact that I was fighting at the beginning with Robert Killian. I was not intimidated by Robert Killian. He is world champion, an athlete with a lot of experience. After two kilometers, I overtook him. Actually, I thought he would catch me, but I kept my pace and saw that I had some advantage. Y bueno, pensaba que más adelante me podría coger, pero pero iba aguantando, veía que les iba sacando un poco de ventaja. Y... At the Z wall, Robert Killian catches up with Charles Franzka. Um, spätestens bei der Z wall. Uh... I had the grips, but my shoes slipped away, and a new burpees in that early stage of the race would become a problem. Schon burpees, so früh im Rennen, das ist immer ein großes Problem. But the world champion is also caught here. Thirty burpees have to be completed if the athletes don't manage an obstacle, and we will see some of them today. The hobby athletes may divide the burpees by the way. So the Spartan race is also manageable for many recreational athletes. Albert Soli is already on his way to the next obstacle, which will be the fate of many of the professional athletes. The Ape Hanger, for the first time here in Oberdorf. This is what it looks like. A water ditch, a rope ladder, and at the end of the ropes to climb up and down. Albert Soli makes it. The Hungarian Richard Hynek is in second place. He is not so lucky. And as Charles Franzka fails, that means the next 30 burpees and the gap to Soli grows. Luckily, the ape hanger saved me because a lot of guys just failed that and I was able to make up those spots that I lost. Um, besides uh, Albert, you know, he got away, um, and that was tough. So uh, when your hands are completely like just destroyed or something's really slippery, you can throw your arm and use the crease uh, in between your elbow to, to get over to the ring. So the last two bars, I had to like put my arm up and I get my other arm up just so I could get to the bell. Yeah, I, I was just lucky to get through that one. I mean, it's survival instinct at that point. Just get through no matter what and avoid burpees. While the elite men fall into the water after the row, the leading woman makes her way to the ape hanger, Ulrika Evansen. I knew that the, the worst grip obstacle for, for the wet conditions would be the ape hanger. Um, and I got out on it and uh, actually my foot got stuck in the rope. Um, so I spent too many like uh, powers just trying to get out from the rope while I was hanging from my hands. So as soon as I got my foot free, I just didn't have the power to like move through it. So yeah, I had to do burpees there, um, and that was when I saw like second place was not so far behind. But Aniko Cernak doesn't make it either. Like Petra Gruber, 30 burpees at this point. Vom Ape-Hänger habe ich mit einem Finger die Glocke gestreift, aber einfach zu wenig. I touched the bell with the tip of my finger, but it was too less. I put too much power in the Ape-Hänger, so it became cramps in my arms. I had to go so hard, now I've got some cramps in my arms, and it was so cold, and then I fell down, and then I had to do the burpees. And then I had to do the burpees. The men at Olympus. Absolutely smooth walls that you can't even hold on to with your knees. So it's another obstacle that only affects the arm power. Albert Soli makes it routine. Robert Killian with apparently last strength. 
The first part, west of Kitzbühler Arch, is done. Now it's direction Kitzbühler Horn. After the run, a small water canal over the torrent control, it goes up over Bender, crawl. The nine feet wall, the mountain lake swimming was cancelled. Sled pulling, sandbag carry to the highest point of the distance. There, javelin throw, stairway to Sparta, log carry. And at the end, still another code word is tested, which had to be learnt above the mountain lake by heart. The Spartan race demands body and mind. Tobias Kamalander, the former Nordic combined, is currently among the best Austrians in the race. Evanson is extending her lead. She already has made up 12 minutes to third place, Petra Gruber. I think for me, um, it's, yeah, the running was my advantage today and it did definitely the, the uphill um, and all like the, the, the woods and like the, also with the water with all the, um, the stones which are wet and it's slippery and like I really like the technical runs um, and all the bushwhacking and stuff like that because I can, I'm pretty good at suffering and I'm pretty good at like taking chances so uh, I just thought like whenever you feel like walking or feel that it's a little bit scary you have to just push even more because that's when everybody else wants to walk so <laughs> yeah. After the bender and the barbed wire crawl on the mountain a passage follows that gives the athletes motivation. Here they see their competition and the distance between them. Once you can see somebody it's a little bit easier and more motivating to, to try to reel them in. But when they're out of sight, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. I don't know how far ahead he is. I don't know where he is. I never saw him. So I just know that I got to keep pushing because it's obstacle course racing, it's Spartan race, anything can happen. Still a lot of obstacles left up there and you never know what's going to happen with, the, with everything. So just keep pushing and moving forward. Sled pulling comes for example and the leader almost fails. Oh, I was struggling so much for the sled because I got up there and it was filled with water um, besides the two, uh, the two uh, sandbags that were in it. It was also filled with water and I couldn't even get it to move like an inch. So I stood there for so long just like trying to get it to move and, and uh, then one of the officials said, ah, maybe you should try like emptying the water out. <laughs> and once I did that, I could get it to move. So should probably have done that from the beginning, <laughs> but uh, it worked out in the end. <laughs> These bells hang at the highest point of the course, the Stangham at 2,000 meters. There was also the most insurmountable obstacle of the race. But before we look up there, a look back into the valley. Once again, seid ihr bereit? Good stuff. Every 15 minutes, a bunch of Spartans starts on the same course that the elites has conquered by more than half. At this point, warm-up is already a reason for many to start here. They are by far not only CrossFit companies, ultra runners or top athletes. Many teams or companies compete together, can help and motivate each other with the obstacles. Back again at Kitzbühler Horn, Albert Soli is already towing the sandbag for the last 150 meters of altitude difference. I hit it, but the spear bounced off. It was the only obstacle I failed at. You have to take it calmly, make burpees and then back into the race. The same can happen to the others. When we got up there, I, you know, just set up and I, I thought I had a really good throw. Like it was right in the middle and it just didn't stick. Like it just right in and right out. And I was just like, man, it is not my day. It's 60 burpees right there. Today, none of the elite athletes succeeds as well as anyone else. 
Intermediate results at the top of the jab and throw. Soli, Killian, Heineck, Tomasz Statinski, Franschka, Michael Sauer, Best Austrian 16th, Tobias Kammerlander 24th. The first part, which is like the sand by carry, was so long. It was like two kilometers and 140 meters of elevation or something. It was really tough. Uh, also because the sandbag was uh, drenched in water, so it was even more heavy. And then you get to the top and have to do the spear throw. And I didn't even like, it kind of slipped out of my hand when I tried to, to throw it. So it wasn't even like close to hitting the target. So yeah, that was just perfect for me there. <laughs> It was in, but two centimeters below the target. Ich kam an und gerade hat ja der Robert auch erzählt, die ersten zehn haben sie geschafft. Ich kam an. I arrived and they told me just three didn't fail. I tried, but failed. With high speed, it goes downhill to the last big obstacle before the target area of the twister. The grips turn around the fastening bar, which is even more power sapping because you lose momentum from grip to grip. I was really tired at that point. I had to like pull myself off a little bit. Um, and I got to the last part of the twister and then I just slipped off and I was yeah. just like, oh God damn, burpees again. <laughs> so I wasn't really proud about my like obstacle proficiency today. I think it was pretty bad, but my running kind of saved me. But I think most people on the course uh, had quite a lot of burpees <laughs> today. Some of the women fail at this obstacle. So everything is still open for the places behind Evanson. If Petra Gruber makes it, she can still be on the podium. Downhill run was good, but then the twister. I just lost the grip again. Gruber and Cernak are both at the burpees. If they continue running together, Petra Gruber would at least win the Dach series. Albert Soli has now arrived at the finish area the Spartan Festival. There are some heavy obstacles standing in front of each other. Also, the multi-rig. The last big test was done by last year's winner. Albert Soli wins the beast competition of this fifth Spartan race in Ovendorf in 2 hours, 44 minutes and 54 seconds. I am very satisfied. It was a good race. I like the track and I'm very happy with today's result. Only two and a half minutes behind, Richard Heineck. Oh, it was really tough, it was really muddy terrain and uh, so slippery sometimes and obstacles was, were, were too hard. I fell two times from the obstacle and it was so slippery and so, so hard to race, but I really enjoyed it. The third place is going to be tight. Robert Killian fights his way through the multi-rig. I, I had um, you know just one ring left and I just couldn't get the grip. I slipped off and immediately I was like, man, I really think fourth place is very close. Um, I'm gonna have to do burpees really fast. But uh, I saw him sit next to me to do his burpees. So I was like, I can take a break now. <laughs> And uh, it felt good, yeah, going into the, uh, the cargo net, you know, securing third place. Um, I've had three podiums now here, and it's a special venue to me. Charles Franzka misses on the podium more than one minute but fixes with the fourth place, the victory in the Dach series with the men. At the end, 120 burpees never had that much, not even in a year. I just fell into the finish line, didn't see anything anymore. 
habe nichts mehr gemerkt, nichts mehr gesehen und bin dann nur noch ins Ziel gefallen. Das war unbeschreiblich irgendwie. The woman's winner misses the javelin throw at the beginning of the festival, but finishes with a comfortable lead of 19 minutes. So I was really happy that I could run all my burpees in because I did a lot of burpees today uh, because of the rain and stuff. So yeah, really happy about it today. The places two to four will be decided at the javelin throw. Natalia Gurchenkova, Vanessa Givart, and Jezebel Kremer. Bei Burpees ist also wenn wir beide Burpees machen, dann bekommen wir sie und dann sind wir darüber. I'm very good at Burpees. When we must do Burpees, both I will catch your effort. The third lady had to do the Burpees at the multi ring. I also did, but it was faster. Dann musste die dritte Burpees beim beim Multiweg machen und dann habe ich gar nicht mehr dran gedacht. Aber ich nur noch okay abklatschen, Burpees machen, abziehen und warten los. So I made too much Burpees. Okay, a little bit unexpected, but uh, then I'll try to keep my uh, pace, good pace in running. Struggle until the end. Petra Gruber comes as the best Austrian to the festival obstacles. She misses the javelin throw. And also at the multi rig, she has to make 30 burpees. At the same time, she crosses the finish line with Eniko Cernak. The third podium place in the Spartan Dach series is fixed. Cernak and Evanson on places two and one were uncatchable in terms of points. It was so brutal. Never did so many burpees in my whole life. We are all in the same boat, the course. Sometimes you need to help each other. First part of the race was good, but then too many burpees. Everything was so hard. I'm insured as well. It could be worse. And yeah, leider war ich verletzt, aber ich bin nicht zufrieden, weil ich mir auch noch schlechter geht. The fifth Spartan race in Oberndorf is finished. Concerning the beast competition for the elite. At the same time, nearly 10,000 hobby athletes are still starting. And as lonely as it looked for the pros on the track, the less lonely are the many Spartan beginners who, among other things, set out on the shortest distance. By the way, the European Championship of the Spartans could take place here in Obendorf in 2020. The helpers are motivated and the chances are very good according to the organizers.